He's back at it again. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Leon Hart is in the midst of a scam storm. Now, I don't know what's going on, why the guy likes to be in this situation, but the guy really, really doesn't like to keep himself legit. However, once again, he's done something very, very scummy. And I, I hate to be the one to sort of throw dirt on the guy because he has been going through his shit over the last year. He has been talking about his mental health issues. And I'm a big advocate for mental health issues. I don't want people to be struggling and struggling alone. However, there's situations like this that just make you feel like the guy is bad news, okay? That's, that's as simple as it gets. Now, a little while ago, we did speak about Leon Hart's pop-up shop that did happen where he gave a load of packs to the public that came to the event and their pulls weren't fantastic yet. At home, Leon Hart was doing multiple upon multiple heavy vintage pack openings, which was just a really silly look on his end, but it was just also a very, very dumb thing to do because everyone saw through it. I did a video on it. I think multiple people did a video on it. It was a very bad period of time, and I don't think his channel has ever really recovered. Fast forward to today, and the guy is back again with another scam that it, it isn't so on the nose, but when you look at it, you realise just how on the nose it actually is. Now, the guy is connected to Rare Candy. You may have heard about it if you watch his channel a lot. He is basically the face of Rare Candy. I think it, it might even be his business, I don't know. But he has been promoting this Rare Candy, this website that's gonna sell Pokemon cards at great prices, this, that, and the other. And it finally dropped, and he has mystery boxes with Rare Candy. Now, on his channel a few weeks ago, I think it's about two weeks ago now, he opened up three of these mystery boxes. And these mystery boxes cost £250 each. That's not cheap. Bear in mind, you can probably get yourself two booster boxes for that price. He is selling these mystery boxes for £250. Now, inside these booster boxes, you do get a graded card. That's nice. And you also get a couple of packs and one card floating about inside the packs. Now, inside these three boxes that Leon Hart opened, he pulled absolute trash now i'm not i'm not even exaggerating the guy pulled absolute trash he had three graded cards one of them wasn't even a psa 10 but the two that were psa 10s was a ratata that was vintage but wasn't even first edition he had a magic app i think and the card that was psa 9 was a shiny charmeleon from i think hidden fates so not fantastic pulls from a box that has cost you 250 pound because None of those cards even reach the £100 mark, okay? So none of those cards are worth that much at all. I think if I'm not wrong, the uh, the Rattata is worth very little. I think the most valued card was the Magic card, but I, I don't quote me on it. What I will do is I'm going to link the video in the description. You'll see that what he gets is it, it, it's not even close to the price mark of what the actual box is are being sold for so it's quite a disappointing thing but move away from the graded cards you also get packs inside the boxes now inside these boxes you're getting sword and shield era packs which they sell for very little i think the most expensive ones are probably sword and shield, uh, sword and shield base and maybe evolving skies and a couple from earlier on um but they've had reprints on most of these <laughs> most of these sets so most of them are quite widely available at the moment anyway darkness ablaze etbs are, are very much 39.95 at the moment so are the vivid voltage ones so it's not like you're getting anything special you could go and buy most of these things on ebay and keep a load of extra money to go and buy more stuff it'd be so much better for you however I want you to go and have a look at the video yourself so you make your own opinion because I think it's absolutely disgusting. Now, I don't know what is happening with Leon Hart. If I'm being honest with you, I think I have a theory and that theory is after the big Leon Hart pop-up shop event that happened and just caused him a mass amount of grief because of his actions around that time, I think his channel's never recovered and he is pretty much trying to get the bank before he goes bust. I think that's what's happening. If you look at his channel, his views aren't as good as they used to be. If you compare him to other big Poke YouTubers, someone like Pokey Red, for example, who has been around for far less time, he is catching up to the subscriber base with Leon Hart very, very fast. Leon Hart's subscriber base has barely moved for two years, and his videos are being viewed far less than Pokey Rev's 
as well. They're probably on the on the half basis. They're about around half less. Half less, does that does that correct grammar? Doesn't matter. Either way, it just seems like he is he is going downhill and he's aware of it. So he's trying to make some quick bank before he goes see you all later. And that's it's quite a sad thing, especially with the fact of Leon Hart is uh, he's the face of Pokemon for a lot of people who grew up watching openings on YouTube. A lot of people who are part of the Pokemon community, 99% of them will know who Leon Hart is and will have easily been watching most of his content from back in the day. Obviously, his last year is, is a write-off, but back in the day, Leon Hart was the face of Pokemon. Unfortunately, now, a lot of people have considered him very cringe. And, I mean, that's fair enough. The guy is very cringe, but it was kind of his character, and I didn't really hold that against him because it was kind of... The way of poker YouTubers back in the day was to be very cringe. It seems like nowadays things have calmed down a little bit and maybe that's gone against him. But yeah, it's a very sad situation. It's very frustrating as well because of the fact he's had the stuff in the past. You'd think he would have learned and not fucked people over basically. But unfortunately for him, he's gone and done something very stupid again. And this is uh, this could be the end for his channel. It, it just doesn't seem like... If people are aware of this, and it doesn't seem like that many people are, it just seems like such a negative thing to have happened that I don't see him coming back again. I I don't know. It's sad. It's really sad. And I understand the guy's struggling with his mental health. He's just had a kid. But the guy is clearly bad news. The guy clearly doesn't care about you or me or anyone in the community. The guy just wants to make some money and get out of here. So at the end of the day, I I just can't believe that he's done it this way. There's so many cleaner ways to have done it and there's so many fairer ways to have done it. But yeah, at the end of the day, you sleep in the bed that you make. And yeah, Leon Hart, mate, you've made a bad move here. And I, I can't, I honestly, I can't defend it. I think it's just disgusting. I think it's absolutely disgusting. And I think the guy should just go away for a bit. Go away, think about what he's doing. And if he wants to make content, come back and make content. But stop selling these things that are just, they're, they're abhorrent, bro. They're absolutely disgusting. Ladies and gentlemen, keep yourself safe. Don't go and spend any of your hard-earned money on any of these boxes. And yeah, it is what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much for tuning in. And what a shitty day. Cheers. If you enjoyed that video, why not subscribe? If you enjoyed that video, why not subscribe? It'll help me and Natty continue to do the work that we're doing, and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Thanks.